BF Day proudly presents Mr. M's Math Class. Hello and welcome to episode 24 of Mr. M's Math Class, our second to last episode of the school year. We just have one more on Tuesday of next week, but this is, we're almost done guys. Um, in today's episode, we're going to do a couple things. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to introduce you to a new game um, and then kind of do the, the normal thing. Um, I did want to say that I've been receiving uh, some parody videos. I've gotten four already and they're hilarious. So if you're still working on them, you have until Monday at the end of the day to do them. Um, please, 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 if you're, if you're considering doing it, please do it there. It's so, so awesome. So I'm, I'm really excited for you to see them on Tuesday. On Tuesday's episode, um, I'll show the parody videos. And then I will also have a be behind the scenes episodes and I'll explain how I, how I've done these episodes. So, um, sorry, I got a little thing in my, in my throat. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, without further ado, here are pictures of you playing Damolt Dice and pictures, uh, one silly picture of me and one silly picture of, um, one of you, two of you. <laughs> Thank you to all of you who sent me pictures of your family playing the game um, and then make vi uh, those of you who made videos of yourselves um, show me your scores. That was really awesome to see. So thank you so much. Um, next up, we have our estimation 180. And this one was provided to us by Mr. Stadel. So we're going back to Mr. Stadel. Um, and this question is, what is the value of the glass of nickels? Now, it's going to be right next to a picture of a glass of uh, pennies. And there are 450 pennies in that um, jar. So you'll see a glass of nickels and a glass of pennies. The pennies has 450 pennies or $4.50. And you're thinking about just a glass of nickels. And so that glass of nickels will have different kind of like angles for you to see. But just know that um, you're just thinking about the glass of nickels. Okay, so we are going to play a new game today that's called Horseshoes. And before I go over the rules, I wanted to show you another um, way to play this game. Um, I'm going to use cards. So if you have a deck of playing cards, um, just know that I'm going to go over that. But if you don't have a deck of playing cards, I'm going to show you something, an alternative thing that you can use. And so I'm going to share my screen here. And <laughs> you can go to roll the dice dot online and if you go into this little dice here doesn't matter which one you pick i'm going to pick six but you're not actually going to use that one uh, for this particular game horseshoes you're going to pick uh three dice okay um and then you're going to go to the maximum value is nine you're going to leave the minimum value as one so one through uh nine and then you will uh roll the dice and as you see here, you get three random numbers. Um, and you're gonna need that for today's um, uh, game. So if you wanna roll again, you can roll again. Um, and if you wanna change that to four dice or just one dice or change the minimum value or maximum value, you might need to change some of that because there are different variations to this game. So again, this is an alternative if you don't have um, a, um, if you don't have a deck of cards. All right, so we're gonna play horseshoes. 
And like I said, I am going to be using a deck of cards. For the deck of cards, you do have to get rid of all the face cards and all the tens. And uh, aces does count as getting rid of, so make sure to, all, all of those are out. So I only have numbers two through nine here. So um, just I'm shuffling them again just so you know that I'm not cheating here. And um, you can do this on your own. You can play this with your family, um, whatever you decide to do. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, the first thing you want to do is uh, take out two cards. So I have a three and a six. And you, uh, whoever's the leader decides whether that should be 36 or 63. So I'm going to make it 36. I'm going to write that 36 on the top and underline it. And that now is our target number. So those two cards are now discarded. And now you... Um, you deal out four new cards. Now you write all those digits. We have a five, a seven, a four, and a five. Now for the next three minutes, it's going to be silent. Um, and I'm going to think out loud. So just know that when you're playing this game, you want to kind of have some private think time. You could only use these digits and you're trying to make a number that is closest to 36. If you're playing with a group of people, whoever's closest to 36, either under or over, is the winner. Obviously, you want to get 36 exactly, but whoever's closest to 36 is the winner. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get started here. <clears throat> so let's do thinking seven times four, um, which is 28. Um, plus five, um, plus five. So I'm thinking that's 28 plus five, which is um, 33 plus five, which is 38. So I'm only two away from 36, that's pretty good. Um, I'm thinking if I can come up with another one that's closer to 36 than 38 is. Um, I'm wondering. Maybe five times five plus seven plus four. Um, let's see, that's 25 plus seven plus four is um, 11. And 25 plus 11 is, hey, look at that, 36. So if this was my turn, I would probably stop here and then I would, I would block this so that nobody else could see that in, in the game. And... Um, I would say this is my equation and we'll see if anybody else got it as well. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, you could also combine numbers. So I'm just going to like give you another example. Let's say I'm still playing with 36, right? Um, I could do like 74 minus 55 if I wanted to, right? And so I could think about that and let's see what that would be. Um, that would be 19, right? So that that would not be as close to this, but you can use any um, uh, math product, uh, any any math symbol. You can add, you can subtract, you can multiply, you can divide. Um, and there are some variations. So if this is like too simple, what you can do, instead of doing a two-digit number, you could pick three numbers and make a three-digit number and make it a little bit more challenging. But in the instructions today, you'll be able to see some different variations of games that you can play um, for horseshoes. But um, I hope you enjoy it. All right. So I know I didn't give you a mural in the last episode. Your mural for this episode is a Disney mural, and I'm going to share that with you really quickly so you can see the finished product. So this is the finished uh, Disney mural uh, product. And then um, there will also be a brand new Ken Ken. This is going to be the last Ken Ken that I give you. Of course, they are free. If you go to the website, you can sign up for their newsletter and they send you a brand new Ken Ken every week, um, like a whole packet. So if you want to do that over the summer, I'm, I think they're still going to be doing that. So um, if you really love them, you can go ahead and sign up on their website. Um, all right. All right, that does it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, a quick reminder, please make sure to send me your parody videos. Um, if you're considering doing it, please do it. You have until the end of the day on Monday to send me those. Um, and uh, again, the episode on Tuesday will be a behind the scenes episode. 
I hope to see a lot of you this Saturday um, at 11 a.m. at the Black Lives Matter March. I will definitely be there. So I hope to say hi to some of you from a distance um, and make sure to wear your mask. But I'm really excited to see uh, some of you uh, tomorrow. And here is the answer to the question of how many nickel, how, what is the value of the jar of nickels?